Hello students. In this video we are going to study high level language. In other last video we started about the assembly language that is human understandable. However, high level language is more human understandable language as compared to assembly language. Assembly language uses symbols. But high level languages use variables, operators like plus, minus, etc. and constant that is fixed value numbers. Let's take an example. Addition of two numbers again. For that, we write code in high level language like this. In this, a, b and c are variables. Plus is an operator and 10 and 14 both values are constants. Some examples of high-level languages are Java, C++, SQL, etc. But the question is, why do we need so many languages? And the answer is, because every type of language has specific purpose in a particular field. For example, in mathematics there are some problems which are tough and lengthy. So computer was needed to solve such types of problems. A specific category of computer programming languages are used to solve these problems, called algebraic formula-based languages. For example, BASIC, FORTRAN, PL-1, version 1, ALGOL, APL, etc. Another category is business data processing languages. These types of languages are used to handle business data. For example, Kabul, RPG, etc. Programming languages have their formation laid on the basis of strings and list. String is a sequence of characters. For example, name, John, has four alphabets combined together and make up one word that is a string. And list is a series of names or items. For example, color names like red, blue, green, pink, orange, etc. combined together make a list. String and list can be processed in programming with two languages. First one is Lisp, list processing, and second one is Prolog, program in logic. These are used for functions like string manipulation, search patterns, and inserting and deleting characters. For example, in our daily life, we use Google web page. Such websites are created in programming languages which are called scripting languages. For example, HTML, JavaScript, PHP, Perl, XML, etc. Next category of programming languages deal with objects and classes. For example, fruit is a class and mango is an object. The language which deals with object and class is called object-oriented programming language. This was a discussion regarding different types of programming languages. Apart from, can you identify any remaining types? Thank you.